this is Darren. Hi. Today we in our now market. We come to shopping and we will go. Oh. And show you how to make pad thai. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> This is a very local market. It's open every Saturday. I'll put all the details for the market in the description below the video. There's loads of street food here. All sorts of fresh fruit and vegetables. And lots of meat and seafood as well. So we're going to grab the ingredients for our pad thai. We're going to show you Orn style pad thai in the video today. This is one of Orn's favourite shops. We've got lots of herbs and vegetables here. Let's see what we're going to get. Green onions. Tomatoes next. Look one for very red. Very red ones. Next, the noodles. Only have red. And then tofu. Okay, that's all from this shop. Let's find out the damage for that. Okay, bargain. Where to next? Just here. Some Thai red onions. Oh, look for big like this now for easy cut. Okay, big ones so they're easy to cut. Oh, palm sugar. What do you got there? Whole peanuts. What's that? Tamarind. Tamarind. Tamarind paste. Nampla lek. Small fish sauce. And oil. And oil as well you got. This 100 baht. 100 baht. Alright. Next. Bye. Where are we going? Next station. Alright. <laughs> Dry chili. Chili, chili. Nantan ho lek, mi me? Oh. Ani lek lai chame? Sugar. Sugar. And lime. And lime. Oh, anan mien mai phet, ani mien phet. An phet ni le. มะนาวเอาไม่ต้องเอาเป็นเนี้ยเอาแต่สองสามลูกเนี้ยได้มั้ยเอากี่ลูกเอากี่เอากี่กี่ปะเอาเอาสองลูกสองไม่สามเลย
prawns next. They're by the kilo or by the plate there. Fifty baht for the prawns. Egg sharp. What do we got? Bag of eggs, 25 baht. Very small eggs today. That is the way everything. Let's go cook. All right, we're back home with Chef On and we've assembled our items. We're actually going to use different noodles to the ones that we bought in the market because these ones that we bought in the market are actually soft and you might not be able to find them too easily. So we've got these which need some preparation. They're a dry noodle and those are the sort you will typically probably find very easily in supermarkets and stuff in your home country. So Juan's <laughs> gonna prepare those noodles. What are we gonna do with them? Put in water about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, open them up. A couple of handfuls of those. We're gonna put warm water in those. Oh, uh, it's Just to cover by John. <laughs> and next we make sauce. There are many different recipes for Pad Thai. There's no one standard one. Some require sauces, others do not. So there are our ingredients for the sauces. You can also buy pre-made sauces. This is one that we use from time to time, which I've seen in Australia. You might be able to find that. But any good Pad Thai sauce will work. So this is a tomato-based sauce. I'm just gonna Cut out and take off the skin. So we're gonna peel those. I'll take everything inside. We're gonna remove the inside from the tomato. And the chef's assistant has finally made an appearance. Where have you been during this video, mister? Huh? Where you going? Next is the tamarind that we bought from the market. I'm just gonna mix that with hot water to soften it. Hot water, put. Okay, so that was about two tables, three tablespoons probably of the hot water in there. Gonna mix that. Okay, mix until it's thick. I did. We have tomato in already. Two tomatoes in there. Uh huh. And then what have you and got there? One tablespoon of fish sauce. One tablespoon of fish sauce. One tablespoon of vinegar. One tablespoon of vinegar. One tablespoon of palm sugar. Palm sugar. Two onion. Two onions. Peel those. And cut in half. You're not being much help here, Mr. Helper. Cut in half. And then into blender. Two tablespoons of tamarind salt. Only take salt, now not have to take meat. Okay, I need the sauce. And now we're going to blend all that up. Blend that till it's mixed. Same like a smoothie. Yeah. Like a smoothie. <laughs> okay, now. So we're ready. Nicely blended there. And then what are we going to do with that? Put in pot. We're going to put that in the pot and then heat it over the stove. We're going to heat that over a medium heat for five minutes. And stir, always stir now because it's dry and it can fire. Can burn. Oh. <laughs> Start 
the gym color now. Mm. What are you doing rolling around on the ground, mister? What are we paying you for? Alright, five minutes and that one is now ready. And noodles have now been soaking. They've turned white and they are nice and soft. So we're going to drain those. Put them into a strainer. Next we're going to prepare the shrimps. We're going to cut the heads off and deshell them. For this recipe we're going to use six prawns and it's going to serve two people. You can use any meat for this. You could use chicken, it just requires a little bit longer cooking time, that's all, but the whole rest of the process is exactly the same. Next is the tofu. Horn's favourite thing, yeah? <laughs> Next we're going to make a little eggshell, so we've got two eggs are going to go into those. And they're going to be well beaten. Okay, it's nice and runny now. And we're going to put them into a little sauce bottle so that they're pourable. We're going to heat the wok over a high flame. One tablespoon of oil. Hello, fire medium. And then turn the wok down to a medium. And spread the oil. And we're going to add our egg mix. Cover them up for about a minute, let that cook through. Oh, that smells good. I'm using a non stick wok so we can keep the amount of oil to a minimum. I'm going to flip that over and cook him on the other side, then cover it up for about a minute. Okay. okay. We're going to make two of those. In the same wok, we put the tofu. Not have to put more oil. And then the prawns. So when the prawns are about half cooked, we're going to add the noodles. And 100 ml water. 100 ml of water. Next, the sauce. How much of that are we going to add? Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of that. Mmm, it smells good. So that's nearly ready. We're going to add a couple of fried eggs to mix through with it. So you cook those on the side and once they're done, mix them through. Turn the heat up a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Mix it all up. Mm, yes, 
systems back, finally. Where have you been? <laughs> to top it, we're going to slice some spring onion or green onion. So there we have it folks, Orn style pad thai, they look great, something you can really impress your friends with. Next, the peanuts, which is a crock, thai style mortar and pestle. Okay. Okay. Nicely powdered. Okay, some peanuts. Next, the chilli. These are all optional extras you may want to eat. Give you a guess the option of adding them. Some sugar. And some more green onion. Bean shoots. Final touch is a slice of lime. I'm going to slice that. I'm sure you agree these look amazing. Definitely impress your friends with these and it's not too difficult to make. They're normally very tasty. Let's see what our chef thinks. Oh, a big bit of shell there. Tawa. Sweet. Good. Good. Cut out the condiments on the side to adjust it to your own flavour. Orn hasn't mixed anything through. I add with peanut. Mm. With peanut, I don't like it. Yeah, it's better <laughs> with peanuts. Mm. My pad thai looks awesome. I'll try a plain first. Cut a little bit of that off and try some noodles. Yum. Sweet, a little bit sour, very, very tasty. I think I'll mix some peanuts through with it next. And also go a squeeze of lime. Try that out. Right, I think it is a bit better with the peanuts and with the lime as well, but you can adjust it to your own flavour. Very, very tasty. Try it out at home. So that's Orn's version of Pad Thai and another edition of Orn's Kitchen. Thank you very much, Chef Orn. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.